Good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you. Make sure you check and search for Hutch's weather in the app stores today. Brand new weather app available. No travel advisory issued and the latest on the location of the heavy rain, icing conditions, as well as the snow coming up in this version of Hutch's weather. Now, a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. All right, we're going to lead with the information you need the most. If you're out traveling already, no travel is advised in the red areas you see here. Northwest, north central North Dakota, south central North Dakota, into portions of southeast North Dakota. This includes the Jamestown Valley City stretch out here. No travel already advised. And we do have some snow-covered roads with a travel alert. Icy conditions reported up here in the Devil's Lake Basin where you see the yellow roads. Anywhere the roads are red with candy canes on them, that would include areas that basically have very icy road conditions. A quick check at a couple of the cameras on I-94 as you get out closer to the James River Valley and Jamestown. As the uh, day is getting going here, we do have very icy looking roads there, but we don't see a ton of snow on them. Ice covered roads causing problems. As you get into Burley County, a little closer to Bismarck, we can see the raindrops falling through the sky there. Things a little bit heavier. As we go up uh, north on 83, there is an advisory up here as well for no travel. Look at how wet the roads are enough rain to make things really damp out there that's the same thing as we go down highway 2 and out toward that williston zone where we do have some areas with very icy conditions and it looks just like a solid sheet a solid sheet of ice in the williston zone southeast north dakota get out in that uh, area down here near the lamore county region verona showing that we do have snow and ice on the roads at this particular time let's check south dakota real quickly so you can see where things are happening there we have icy road conditions in the northeast zone of the state outdoors there. We do have the I-29 corridor that's showing some uh, inclement conditions with some slippery and wet roads as well. Taking a look at that Sisseton area, zooming in just a little bit closer, here's what the interstate looks like. And we do have a little bit of ice on the road there as well. We'll get to that radar here momentarily. Quick look at Minnesota roads. Things haven't gotten started here, but last night's snow that moved out of here moved over there. And we do have areas where we have some slippery slippery road conditions. So in east central portions of the state of Minnesota, we're looking at some spots here that have definitely got some uh, some icy road, road coverage there where we see the pink colors. So zooming in, we're talking about areas in and around the Walker area, the Bemidji area. Uh, let's take a look at this camera. This is Lake Itasca, a solid sheet of, of snow covered roads there uh, in central Minnesota. Northwest part of the state, we also have the same thing going on for you with uh, some pink areas on the roads showing up. And that would indicate that we do have some areas with complete coverage on Highway 75 and it does look like we've got a couple of indicators here of some uh, some uh, closures, but I think that has to do with things going on in town. Here's a look at the Highway 10 uh, interchange there, wet roads. Let's get to the radar and show you the action going on right now as you're heading uh, on your way to work, or maybe you have not done so yet, but if you have not done so and you're traveling across the region, don't do so because we do have this system getting started. Here's a batch of snow. Remember last night I said Fargo gets some snow, then sleet, then rain. We've got ice showing up up here on the uh, high resolution radar here along the Highway 2 corridor. Heavy rain taking place in the Bismarck area, but the ground, folks, is so cold that it's causing a sheet of ice. That's some heavy rain taking place that stretches all the way back into the big sky country of Montana as well. Snow reports in and around the Duluth area, many showing upwards of one to three inches of snow. That's why we have the road coverage problems there. That includes you in the Brainerd Lakes area, 1.6 inches. Uh, Cass uh, County seeing that than Oshawa out there with 1.7 inches as well. So that's what's going on here. Temperatures at the surface. We have a warm, a warm front going on out here to the west. So as we head into the map here just a little bit, it's 50, 50 degrees in Miles City, Montana and Billings, Montana. 50 degrees. That's called compressional warming. That's called downslope warming. Glendive, Montana, 43. Very wet conditions, but those road surfaces are just basically above freezing. Um, uh, and the, the ground itself is freezing. So air temperatures, 34 to 37. Road surfaces, very cold. 
icy conditions going on up there in the Bismarck area, northwest part of the state. We do have that problem with some very icy road conditions. And look at these temperatures here in the James River Valley. So we go ahead back to the radar and you'll see here that we definitely have some uh, issues going on. So we will have the onset of some light snow moving into the FM area here in the on the short side of things. And as that continues its way through, let's go ahead and take a look at the latest hour by hour forecast to plan your day. Essentially, we have uh, this system that is wrapping its way through with all the different types of precipitation. One thing we can do, we know what the radar looks like now. We can go ahead and switch through models uh, at, here in the early part and see which one looks most like what's going on. This one has none of the snow, so we're not going to use that. It's kind of nice to check these to see which one is on and which one is not uh, uh, taking care of business here, as it were. So let me see here if I can go uh, get some. Uh, the new models, by the way, still are not in. We're looking at some of these that still have last night's model runs. So you're not going to get any different information. This one doing pretty good. This is the one I chose to show last night. Here we go. There is the rain, the heavy rain, the wet rain. We're making its way through the west. Here's the mix coming through now with some snow pushing into the FM area. A thin band of some ice as well in the Devil's Lake Basin. So now to around the mid morning hours is when things get going here in the FM area and up north. We're going to have snow developing with ice moving into lakes country through noon. After that, we're going to see rain making its way down, but folks, the roads are just they're frozen. They're cold. So it's going to turn the snow we get into slush and water. Now, Fargo's right on this line here. If you take a look, there's Richland County, all rain, but we get this ice in both um Basically, uh, our county here, Fargo, Cass County, Clay County, we'll get a mixture of snow first, then covered with some freezing rain and sleet, and then it turns to some snow. The difference in what I'm seeing here, the wind comes in later, so we're not going to have as much wind with the snow, up to 30 miles per hour all day long, but gusts will increase to 60 or even 70 miles per hour as the snow moves through, and that's on your drive time home. Here's 4 p.m. right here, ice and snow north, and then as we head into the evening hours, we're talking about between 5 and, well, midnight. That's when the heaviest snow and wind will be making its way through. The wind will continue to howl through the overnight and start decreasing once we get beyond the midnight hour, and that has not changed. What has changed? Watches, warnings, and advisories. So we'll go show you just a quick peek at what those are. We do have a winter storm warning now that extends from Brainerd all the way through Eau Claire, Wisconsin, Stephen Points, and Wausau, Wisconsin, uh, um, Kashina, as well as New London and Wausau and Phillips in Wisconsin. Up here, the Northern Valley is the one in the winter storm warning where we do have wintry weather going on, but we have flat out icing conditions going on in the western side of the state. And we do have a look here at the heavier band of snow moving in towards Finley. Right now it's over you heading into Mayville and it won't be long before we start seeing some snow here in the FM area. Taking one more look at that road condition in North Dakota and we'll look at the snow out west of town here and show you that right now we have a travel alert, meaning tricky travel conditions up in northeast North Dakota, Devil's Lake, right into Grand Forks, points north towards Walhalla and Pembina. No travel advised at all. Stay off the roads. Make sure you don't get stuck on the roads when we have this going on. The crews need the roads open to, well, for emergency travel, as well as clearing the, the uh, snow and the ice that's taking place out there. Central North Dakota closed down on, on the US 83 corridor, I-94, all the way from uh, the west side of Morton County, Sioux County, and Grant County into, well, Barnes County here, as well as our Dickey and Lamore County areas here in southeast North Dakota. So from Ashley, Wish and Napoleon right into Dickey and Lamore and Oaks and Ellendale. Those areas, no travel is advised. That does include our counties uh, in and around the James River Valley as well. Here's a look at what's going on in the West Fargo cam. Let's get out here toward the uh, Castleton area. And we see that there's no big, uh, huge, heavy amounts of snow hitting there. As we go just north, we lose visibility a little bit at the Buffalo area there. So this is... Uh, um, number uh, uh highway 38 milepost number 10 out there so definitely some hazy fog look at that milky covered uh uh camera right there and i-29 showing that pedro is not happy with this forecast i can tell you that right now we do have some uh what looks like pretty slick road conditions on buxton area at i-29 here's a travel alert on highway 2 for you grand forks folks traveling in between the emirato area and this is a look at emirato and look at the lights gleaning off the road surface 
surface there. That is a, a, an indication of some icing starting to take place there for sure. And you get into the Devil's Lake area, and it's completely covered with a coat of what looks like ice to me. And I believe we could see a little bit of uh, evidence of some rain shower activity mixing in there, even though the radar is showing mostly snow. I don't see any area with super heavy snow. The Buffalo, uh, North Dakota area, seeing some uh, snowfall that's reducing visibility. It is covering the road in Clyde. Get ready, Clyde. It should be mostly snow for your area as you go up toward the international border. Uh, again, a travel alert in northeast North Dakota. That's what we're seeing there. I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson reminding you, you can get the, and download Hutch's weather app today. Search Hutch's weather in the app store. Road conditions, latest radar, hour by hour forecast, uh, whether you want just the numbers or if you want to see the maps. It's all there on Hutch's weather. Uh, search Hutch's weather in the app store today or hutchesweather.com for the very latest. I'll be back throughout the day with updates right here. This has been a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching Hutch's weather.